Welcome back to TR's Tarot Talk 1111. This is Tracy. I am here to do the Zodiac sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the 1st through the 15th of July. Guys, I only have one announcement to make, and that is that my birthday is July 11th, and in celebration of my birthday, I would like to offer you guys half off of the half hour to 40 minute pre-recorded video readings. That was a mouthful. Um, yeah, it's just a thank you from me to you guys. Um, I would really, really love to be able to work with you. And in order to celebrate my birthday, I'd like to give you a huge half off discount to do so. The only caveat is that from the 11th to the 18th of July, I will be going on vacation in North Carolina with my family. <clears throat> so you can use the 50% off um, anytime in July. You prepay for your reading and then we can schedule it anytime that I'm available. You can even schedule it out into August if you like but it must be paid for in July if you want the $50 price, okay? That's the only announcement I have other than I love you guys. I'm so grateful that you are here. If you are new to the channel, welcome to the Love Tribe. Please, um, if my content um, kind of resonates with you and you think that you could be on an ascension journey or you think that you could use some guidance, spiritual guidance on this journey, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. And those of you who have been here forever, I love you. And I am so grateful for you. Make sure you share this with friends and family. Um, and I almost forgot. I now, because we have Patreon, if you're a member of Patreon, you automatically get extended to every one of these videos. Don't mind the 11 year old. He's off school for the summer and he's playing on his game gets a little loud. But anyhow, yes, join me over in Patreon for the price of a coffee, kind of a high-end coffee, but for $4.44, you get extended readings for every one of the Zodiacs that I post on the 1st and the 15th. And um, we're, we've only been a month in Patreon, so there will be other content eventually added um, that we'll have extended content too. We're just kind of getting in the groove of things, but go over there. There is a link below for everything, a link to donate, a link to uh, to book your reading, a link to join Patreon. Everything's in the description box. All right, so let's bring you down to your reading. I'm melting here, guys. It's so hot. It's more humid than hot, actually. It's only in the 80s, but and it was in the 90s, upper 90s. <clears throat> so Libra, what is your overall theme? Let's just pull these down a little bit, push the computer back a little, see if I can get some of them in shot at least. Finances and career overall energy for the beginning of the month, the first through the 15th, and love and romance. And then we will go deeper over in Patreon for a extended so what do we got here for the month, the beginning of the month? Ooh, bring love into the situation. So for the 1st through the 15th, there may be some decisions. There may be some conversations um, that you will be having, choices, right? And Spirit is saying that everything will work out as long as you keep love in your vibration. <clears throat> so let's take a look at your finances and career. Ooh, seven of pentacles. So this is um, the energy of having invested time, money, energy into a project or a job. Um, this could be investing money. This could be, you know, I noticed um, I've talked to some of my viewers. They've been investing in gold and silver. So it's going to be a little different for everybody, but this is kind of a waiting card. It's taking an opportunity to allow your pentacles to grow, your investment to take root, and your harvest to come in. So let's take a look at the energy of why. 
Oh, we have the high priestess, trusting your intuition, careful reflection before taking action. That's what this is right there. Careful reflection before taking action. Insights that come through meditation. And then we have the six of spring. That's nice. <laughs> six of wands, winner, winner, chicken dinner. We have wonderful news is on its way. Smart choices that bring rewards, success, and public recognition. <clears throat> Pardon me. So what I'm seeing is spirit is saying, bring love into the situation. Use your intuition. Take a step back and look at things. Reflect on things. Take a moment, right, before making that choice. And if you do that, you are going to have this uh, success and possibly public recognition for some of you. That six of wands can be um, being in the public's eye or, you know, like me on YouTube. Maybe you guys have your own platform uh, where you're seen or you teach or, or you help others and it gets you public, rec public recognition. Ooh, change tracks. Hmm, I wonder what that's all about. Let's take a look here. Joy of the process. I love to create, which must mean I love the process of creating. The actual thing is just an end result. Assign the really doing it and getting it done game is over. So for now, I'll enjoy the game and soak in that process like it's a champagne-filled hot tub or perhaps something cheaper and a lot less sticky. A hot tub full of coffee creamer? Hmm, I'll figure it out. It's a process. So I'm going to get these for you. Uh, I don't know why, but I felt called to, to choose three of these today. We have chain, chain of events that will affect your life. Stork, news of a birth or a new business opportunity. I'm already getting your message. Great, it's time to go out and have fun. All right, so two things I'm picking up. One is that something totally new is being birthed for you. Totally new. Uh, might be an unexpected chain of event that affects your business, um, but it is something being born, something new that's going to cause you to change tracks. And in this newness, I think using your intuition and taking a look at where, where do you want to invest? What do you want to plant for the future? Because your advice is it's the joy of the process, not the end product. So time to go out and have fun. I do believe there's going to be very little for you to do <laughs> in the 1st through the 15th of July. I feel like spirit, this is all handled by spirit. The only thing you're going to need to do is to use your intuition when this chain of events unfolds because it might change something pivotal for you. So really, you know, you're being told that there's a waiting period. Success is imminent if you use your intuition. Enjoy the process. Don't let it stress you out. And uh, take time to go out and have fun. I don't think you need to do anything. I think this is kind of divine intervention. Something's going to happen. And um, when it does, the only thing you need to do is to kind of um, take your time and use your intuition with love, right? It says bring love into the situation. And allow it to kind of, it's like a birthing, right? When I look at this, I see seeds that have been planted and are producing, are being born, are, are growing, are producing is what I'm hearing. And then with the stork, you know, this too, babies have a gestation period. Things, New things need time to um, create, to be created. And so there could be some kind of a chain of events that comes in and changes something for you. And you're being told that even though it may take time, don't stress, just use your intuition. This is going to work out just fine. Enjoy the process. 
because something here needs a little bit more time to, to uh, manifest is what I'm hearing. So money, I don't see any loss of money. I really don't see a huge gain in money, but I do see a change in the process. I see a change of tracks. I see something new wanting to be born for you. And the only thing you really need to do is to enjoy the process and use your intuition and make sure it's something that you love to do, right? Bring love into it. No grindstone. This is, this is literally enjoying yourself, enjoying the process, loving what, what you do. And that's what's going to bring you this, this uh, success. So we'll go deeper into this because I'm kind of curious what the change is, but We'll go deeper into that over on Patreon. If, if you feel like this is something you've been doing, you've been trying to give birth to something new, things have been changing, switching up for you. Maybe you've been feeling a little impatient because sometimes the seven of pentacles makes me feel impatient. Um, then if this is your energy and you're curious about the details, then join me over in Patreon. I'm about to send you to your room, Jesse. Thank you. Sorry, guys. Parenting 101, right? Hard to do a home-based business with an 11-year-old child in the home. All right. So next up is love. So we have the Page of Cups, Libra. Let me just take a look here. So... A page of cups for me in love and romance, sometimes this can be um, meeting somebody new. This could be somebody who asks you out on a date or just exchanges pleasantries, but, you know, with an undertone of, of uh, a crush. It could also be an apology from somebody that feels like they... they I always look at the page of cups as... Um, Following his intuition, that fish in the cup always makes me think of intuition and spirit. It's like um, the page has feelings for someone, but an action needs to happen. And they're consulting the fish as to what that action needs to be, right? In order to get that cup where it needs to go. Let's take a look at the other cards. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Wands. All right, so with the Nine of Wands, this is somebody, this is either your energy or your person's energy. This can be karmic, right? With the Wheel of Fortune, that's the Wheel of Karma. Um, it can be karmic in nature, uh, but somebody here is not willing to give up yet. They're battered, they're torn, they're guarded, Um their, their confidence level is down. I mean, they are showing up as a page, right? So I'm feeling an energy here of some kind of a destined conversation or message that might just breathe life back into something between you and this person. But I'm going to take a look at the other messages. Ooh, strictly sexual. So it says, this connection is passionate, but not enduring. I'm not sure. That card sometimes can be a fear. That could be why the person or you are guarded because of a fear that maybe it's just sexual. But we're going to, let's just take a look at all the energies before I pass judgment on this poor page. We have hope. Oh, this is nice. Aura of love. The union of light and dark of earth and sky. Balancer of anima and animus. The merging of two souls. Acknowledge the feminine and masculine aspects of yourself, both yin and yang to create a perfect balance. So for those of you who resonate with twin flame energy, the, the yin and yang, you know, is that energy. We have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. 
we have oh the month of may could be very important it could be when you met it could be when you reunite it could be when this conversation happens which doesn't make sense because we're in july <clears throat> and i asked spirit about the july energy so my guess is this could be a conversation about maybe something that happened in the month of may you know maybe it's been since may since you've heard from this person we have box you will receive a gift i see that too this person wants to come forward and then we have flute Dis disappointment in a friend or lover hmm hmm and your last card is yes. Kiss the ground, touch the sky. Your soul is set now to leap and fly. Okay, so um, automatically, I'm just, you know, feeling here. Now, energy can go both ways, but I feel like there's been some kind of a separation. Um, there's been a fear around um, intimacy. Somebody's afraid that this connection can't last because maybe you know maybe you came together all all passionate and hot and heavy and then you know and often in divine counterparts which is what i feel with this union card what happens is that honeymoon period you meet it's like um you meet this person they feel right they smell like home they feel like home they just you feel like you've known them before um it's just it just feels right destined right destiny and then especially if it's a twin flame thing which it doesn't have to be but usually what happens is when we meet a divine counterpart they are our mirror right they will mirror back to us a lot of our fears fears and belief systems that you know have been droned into us most of our life some of them through our ancestrals uh, DNA and patterning. You know, my mom was codependent. My dad was a drunk. Her mom was codependent. His dad was a drunk. It's the ancestral patterning. Um, maybe this person displayed, uh, maybe when you met them, they had a few too many drinks one night and it scared you. It, they tend to bring up your fears, right? What are you afraid of? Um, and it could be from past lives. It could be literally experiences you've had in previous relationships in this life. Um, but what I'm seeing here is that <clears throat> there's been a disconnect between you and this person. Because there's a waiting here, divine timing. Divine timing and... Divine timing goes with destined opportunities, right? So I do feel like there has been some kind of a, a separation between you and this person. You might have, you know, they might have ghosted you or you might have ghosted them. I feel running. But this, you know, with this yes card and worth waiting for and hope, and the union card. Also with this uh, box, you'll receive a gift. So the flute is that you're disappointed in a friend or a lover. I see that here with the nine of wands. Somebody's guard is up. Somebody has had their feelings hurt. They're feeling a little beat up from this. And, and it looks really deserted, right? It looks like dry, parched land, desert land. So the energy I'm getting for you is that there could possibly be a destined opportunity for this person and you to maybe run into each other somewhere. with this worth waiting for and hope and yes and gift and union, it just feels really good to me. I do need a little more details. I'll go deeper in this over in Patreon. But for those of you who don't join me over there, 
I think the first through the 15th of July, um, because it says bring love into the situation. Yes, worth waiting for hope. The union of of the yin and yang, you know, masculine, feminine. I just get this feeling like you've had a falling out with somebody. And probably one or both of you decided to withdraw, emotionally withdraw. And that emotional withdrawal, I feel like it was very sexual between you in the beginning. And then, you know, it just kind of dwindled. I, I'm thinking when I see these two cards, strictly sexual, and these wands, see, wands represent fire. And this looks like, like the remnants of a bonfire, right? Like a forest fire. Like maybe when the two of you met, it was so sexually hot, and, but it burned really fast and then kind of died out, right? There was such a passionate burn between the two of you and it felt right. It just felt right. So I'm not seeing why the separation or the disconnect, it doesn't have to be a separation. It could just be an energetic disconnect, but something here has fizzled out and it had you or, or, you know, if you're a cross watcher, it has the viewer feeling really guarded and, and worried that maybe it was just for sex. But I'm not seeing that at all. I mean, we've got the wheel of fortune, destined opportunity with hope. Yes, worth waiting for. Union and a gift. Now, May, I'm not sure how May plays out. This is going to be different for everybody. It could be your birthday's in May, their birthday's in May, you met in May, you had a fight in May. Um, but I feel in the first part of July here, Spirit's saying bring love into the situation. A destined opportunity is going to, it, it feels when I hear destined, it's like this fish. This is like Spirit telling this person here. You owe this person an apology or, you know, a text, at least reconnect, right? This is somebody who feels sheepish. They don't feel confident. They feel rather immature. Um, I do feel like maybe there is an apology with this gift, right? This box, you will receive a gift. I feel like this person is going to try to make amends. The thing is, is I'm worried that when they do reach out, because of this fear here of, of this being strictly sexual, that you might be guarded and not allow this person, um, you're, so, okay, spirit, they're saying, okay, Tracy, talk about the ego. All right, so your ego is bruised. Your ego is bruised. You've been hurt before. You don't want to be hurt again. You might have a pattern in your life of meeting somebody and then, you know, getting into an intimate relationship too quickly. Um, there's all kinds of childhood wounds that can cause a person to want to have intimacy before there's a true heart connection. And so this could be a pattern of yours or possibly a pattern of your person's. But I think when you met each other, you met your match. And that match lit a fire. And that fire, or the ego came in, because ego is also wands, right? Passion. Um, I think your ego or their ego, somebody's ego, um, is trying to protect them from harm because that's what the ego does, right? The ego protects you. Sometimes in a very distorted way, it can lie to you. It can, you know, it'll do anything it has to, 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 pro to protect you. And so the, that's what I see. I see that in the beginning of July, there's going to be some kind of of a conversation or a gift or a text. It's not going to be much, guys. 
Um, but I think that that you already know, you already have hope, and you've already been waiting, hoping for this union, right? But you are disappointed in their behavior. And if it's not you, then of course it's the opposite, right? It's them toward you. But um, I really don't see a resolution in the beginning of July. I do see possibly an icebreaker, possibly a, a apology or a conversation or an opening dialogue, right? Just try not to be too stuck in your fear. When I go over to Patreon in the extended, I'm going to take a look at this fear. And I'm going to get advice on, you know, is it authentic? What is their intentions? Um, I already see what the universe's intention is. This person is part of your spiritual growth. They're part of your, um, whenever you get two people that mirror fear back to one another, it's an opportunity. It's like shaking that fishbowl, right? Everything looks clear and the, the fishbowl looks clean until you give it a good rattle. And then all shit floats to the top, right? And you realize it was a lot murkier deep down inside of you than you thought. And that's what I feel here. I feel some kind of a, a activation between two people that is bringing um, an opportunity for healing and union. It could be external union, could be internal union. Usually it's both. I don't really see it happening in July. I see an opportunity to open communication or to revigorize the energy. All right. But I want to know what their intentions are. And I want to know who's afraid and, and whether they should be afraid. All right. So we will get you some advice over in the extended. I love you, Libra. I hope this resonated. If you feel this energy is yours, then, um, and you haven't joined Patreon, it's only $4.44 to join at the tier of getting all of the extendeds for all 12 Zodiacs, not once, but twice a month. That's 24 videos plus two extra pick a card or, or spiritual videos um, a week also. So go join us over there if you feel the call. And if not, I will see you on the next upload. Namaste.